hi friends once again welcoming you on your own youtube channel friends today we are going to read one of the most important topics of plant breeding that is mass selection so friends we all know that online classes are not enough for our understanding purpose in this lockdown so so friends i am starting a moment of helping all the agricultural background students so that they can understand properly so if you want to support me in this moment then please share this video as much as you can so that this video reaches to each student and they can take advantage so friends without wasting more time let us understand what is mass selection so mass selection it is it is one of the oldest breeding method for improving the crop or we can say that we can make we make new hybrid by by this method by by mass selection so it is a method of breeding in which uh, in which individual plants are selected on the basis of phenotype from a mixed population means from a mixed population we select uh, some of the plants on the basis of their phenotype then we, we mix their seeds and and are used to grow in the next generation so basically so basically in mass selections uh, we select uh, some plants on the basis of their phenotypic characters and then their seeds are mixed and are used for growing purpose in next generation now coming to the features of mass selection so mass selection it is applicable for both self as well as cross pollinated crops but mainly for the cross pollinated crops and uh, then second feature is it is um, stable against environmental change means it can tolerate bad environment also and third and most important thing is uh, mass selected varieties are less prone uh, to attack of new disease now coming to the types of mass selection so there are basically two types of mass selection positive mass selection and negative mass selection basically these two are same but some differences are there in positive mass selections in, in this when uh, when uh, desirable plants are selected from a mixed population and then their seeds are mixed together to grow further generation it means that whenever we select our desirable plants desirable plants in the sense means uh, uh, in uh, like we want some quality in or we want some particular trait or character in plants so we will select that plant from a mixed population and then we will mix their seeds to grow further generation so this type of selection is called as positive mass selection now coming to the negative mass selection so in negative mass selections we will remove undesirable type of plants the plants which are not desirable or the plants in which our desirable character or traits are not present so we will remove that from field and then rest are rest are same like as positive mass selection now coming to the procedure of mass selection so mass selection consists of various steps so first step is selection of base populations means uh, out of uh, base population we will select some some of the individual plants on our phenotype based, uh, based on their phenotype characters now second point is we will select our desirable plants from base population and then we will mix their seeds so that they can rise for next generation so after mixing their seeds we will plot them in the field and then we will evaluate so evaluation in a field trials and then last one uh, if if that further uh, plants uh, are having higher yield as compared to local variety then we will release that uh, plant or that crop as a new variety we will read now in uh, detail so basically uh, in uh, in 8 years uh, we will uh, we will plant uh, in 8 years we make our new variety so basically these are th the steps so in first year what we will do so in first year an unimproved old variety is used as a base population so means like suppose if uh, at a place there is a local variety of potato or any crop so first we will uh, we will compare uh, or we will plant that crop so uh, individual plants are selected we will select uh, some individual plants so individual plants are selected or will be selected on the basis of their phenotypic performance and after selecting plants then they will be harvested at maturity and then their seeds are mixed together and this entire process will be repeated till desirable results are achieved so in first year what we are going to do we are uh, selecting our uh, we, were, we are selecting our that particular individual plants out of that population and then that selected plants will be harvested at maturity and their seeds will be mixed together and this entire process will be repeated now coming to second year 
so in second year crop crop will be grown in a separate field and uh, using a separate field and using a standard variety as a check what does it mean so it means that now uh, we will we will uh, plant that seeds and so uh, we, and we will compare uh, we will compare that uh, we will compare their yield from their local variety and that uh, that comparison uh, uh, of local variety uh, is called as a check so we will compare like that it either it is growing more more quantity of grains as compared to local variety or not so this trial is also called as pre preliminary trial now coming to third to sixth year so in third to sixth year uh, performance is evaluated in a main field trials for three to four years continuously using a standard check for comparison so uh, three to four years continuously uh, we will compare we will compare our new uh, new uh, hybrid with local variety that either it is growing more more amount of grains as compared to local varieties or not and if it is growing more amount of grains uh, more nutrient uh, everything is superior as compared to local variety then in seventh and eighth year variety then that variety will be multiplied released and then it is ready for the distribution so basically for making a new variety a minimum of eight years is required now what are the merits what are the merits merits of this mass selection so first uh, first point is it is a good method for the improvement of old variety means by using this mass selection method we can improve our old variety second merit of mass selection is that these mass selected varieties are more stable in performance as compared to local variety and the third point is that it is uh, more it is also uh, uh, yes it is mass selected varieties provide good protection against disease also as well as it is a simple and quickest method for the crop improvement and fifth and most important merit of mass uh, uh, of this process is that mass selection process is that it is uh, it is applicable for both self as well as cross pollinated crops although it is uh, mainly applicable for cross pollinated crops now but although it has merits but it has some demerits also so first demerit is uh, that we have no control on pollination means uh, performance means uh, plants can be pollinated both by superior parents as well as inferior pollen parents also so this is a demerit and second most important demerit is selection since we all know that in mass selection selection is based on phenotypic performance but the thing is the superior phenotype is not always an indication of superior genotype it means that if phenotype is uh, is superior in quality then it doesn't mean that that their gene are also superior so this is a um, most important demerits of mass selection so in order to overcome these defects these demerits following modifications are done so first is first one is rejection of inferior plants it means those plants which are uh, pollinated by the inferior pollen plants we will remove we will remove them before flowering then second thing is we will use composite pollen and then third thing is uh, third thing is that we will use a stratification of field a stratification of field it is also called as a grid method in in which uh, in which uh, we will divide our field into a small plots in such a way that each plot should have minimum of 40 to 50 plants and and then superior plants will be selected in each small plot from each small plot we will select superior plants and this will eliminate effect on the environment so friends this was for mass selection so friends if you have any doubt then you can message me uh, in youtube youtube comment section you can ask me and i will try to solve your doubts as soon as possible thanks bye bye and take care